Hello everybody, this is Lane, and before I start this video, I just want to show you this. According to my analytics, over 90% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers. To anyone who likes my content but haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel and maybe even hit the notification bell, so that way the not subscribed percent will go down. Uh, thank you for your time, and now, onto the video. Today we are going to be looking at the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory Willy Wonka 8-inch action figure um, recently released by Amigo, a fairly old toy company that went out of business in the 80s but recently um, came back to life a few years ago and are now releasing limited time 8-inch figures like this one. Has 14 points of articulation and is officially limited edition action figures with original detail and quality that Mego is known for. Now I've never, I hope you can not hear the airplane noises in the background, but anyways, uh, no more interruptions. Um, I've never had any experiences with Mego before, so this is my first time experiencing uh, this toy company. On the back. It has a picture of Wonka from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, one of my favorite movies ever. And it also has a little history on the back. You might not be able to read this, but I'll read it for you. Retro is back for new and old fans to play with and collect faithfully reproductions of classic toys, bringing back fond memories while creating new ones. For 60 years, Marty Abrams has been an innovator in the toy business. Heralded as the father of licensed toy action figures from the 70s, Marty created the original shared universe of Mego action figures who could interact in the same format. Uh, these Mego reproductions are authentic, classic characters are play patterns brought back in the true classic vision of the original Mego. And special thanks goes, and special thanks goes to Jason Young, who is a freelancer who probably worked on this figure, um, Andy Kovalt, who is the sculptor, and Rachel Baker, who is the seamstress. So I guess that means uh, she did the clothing of this hopefully wonderful figure. So we are going to open this figure up and have a closer look at it. So stay tuned. The only accessory that Willy Wonka has is, of course, his hat. And I'm going to put it on right now, just because I can. So, um, it stays on pretty good, which is nice. Though the only problem is I have a bad feeling that you can't see his face all that much. So, we'll just have to bear with me, because... There we go. This figure is so big that it won't fit, uh, fit the whole screen. So, in terms of his size, which includes his hat, looks like Mr. Wonka is around eight and three quarter inches. I think without the hat, he's probably like just eight inches. So yeah, that's basically it. Now let's take a look at Mr. Wonka himself, and he has a, let me take off uh, the hat really quick, I'll put it back on eventually, but I think my favorite part about this figure is probably the face, because it is such a great likeness of Gene Wilder, the original actor who played Wonka in the original 1971 classic. Looks nice, I think they got the hair color right, uh, they got the blue eyes, they got his nose right. All of his little wrinkles. And they also got his costume right. See his undercoat, his bow tie, his pants, and his coat. I know his coat probably looks a little blue on camera, but since I'm uh, filming this and I have the figure in hand, um, it actually doesn't look that blue. It's still the classic purple that uh, Willy Wonka accurate, accurately has. Here's his pants and his shoes. Such a great action figure. I'd say my only real criticism is that is that the hat might be a bit too big. Especially compared to like like the photo. Like look look at the look the look the size difference on the artwork. 
well, not the artwork, but like the photo of him compared to what the action figure displays. Not the best, but they could have done worse. Um, articulation, his head rotates, and his shoulders go up and down and forwards and backwards a little bit. I mean, there is some limitation uh, because he has a coat on, so you'll just have to be careful. Uh, elbows bend down. Um, I don't think they rotate, but they do at least bend down. Uh, wrists are... Uh, you know, they can go up and down, and you can also rotate them. Uh, his waist also rotates. Um, his legs can kick out, so he does have articulation in the hips. Uh, they might be ball-jointed, but I can't tell. His knees... His knees bend down. And, of course, he does have legs that go up and down. And also... Hold on a second. Oh! <laughs> Look at this feet. Uh, but I did not uh, know this at first, but it turns out that his shoes are separate sculpts. So let me <laughs> let me put his shoe back on. Sorry, sorry if I made everybody have a foot fetish or something. So yeah, so that is it for this uh, Willy Wonka action figure. Um, it's a great figure. I love the way he turned out. And special thanks to the people at Mego who made this awesome action figure. It uh, has an amazing likeness of Gene Wilder from the original movie. Um, the clothes are pretty nice. Um, I'd say my only criticism is that the hat is too big, but at least... Um, his hat will stay on. Well, okay, maybe I didn't put it on all the way, but for the most part, it's it stays on. Uh, he has a good amount of articulation. Um, I did wish he did came with his cane, though, but I guess that's not uh, a huge issue. So yeah, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is one of my favorite movies of all time, alongside... Uh, other great films like the Spongebob Squarepants movie, the Star Wars trilogy, and many more. So I'm just really glad that an action figure like this exists. Because I know um, I know a decade ago there was, an, there was a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory action figure line for the 2005 remake of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory book. But... Uh, but they weren't the original, like, 1971 um, Willy Wonka figures. Because, uh, again, like, back then there weren't any figures or plushes of, uh, of like, Mr. Wonka. I guess that kind of me meant that, like, there wasn't any nostalgia for the film at the time. I guess until now. I mean, kind of makes sense, because this year is actually the 50th anniversary of, of the original film's release. Um, I also have no idea when this figure will stay in production. I mean, I mean, they do say it's like a limited edition figure, so I'm not so sure uh, what when they'll stop making these. So if you really want one so badly, if you're a huge fan of the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie like I am, I definitely think this is worth a pickup. Um, uh, I forgot to, to mention um, how much this is. Um, it's on Amazon right now for $18.99. So if you have that money, uh, please go get it before they're all gone. And Amigo, if you're watching this, if there is any... Um, if you plan on making more figures of characters from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I would love a Charlie Bucket uh, you know, with like a Wonka bar and a golden ticket. I think that would be... If you were to make any other characters from, um, from, you know, from this great movie... Please make Charlie Bucket. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I make, I don't know, like any kind of video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.